everyone. Welcome back to another monthly celebration video and happy July. So I am excited. I went back and forth on what I was going to do um, quite a few times actually. And when I went to look in, you know, I have my new photo storage. If you haven't watched that video, I'm loving, loving, loving this photo storage. Um, go check that video out. But I started to look for some other photos and the very first page I came to were, was these photos. And these are some very special photos to me that I have not scrapbooked. Um, I was trying to not do the 4th of July because I figured maybe a lot of people would be doing that. And I don't know, I was just trying to mix it up a little. But when I found these photos, when I saw this, I knew right away this is what I was going to do. Um, this is just my grandpa and he unfortunately passed away a few years ago. I was so close to my grandma and grandpa. Um, he had, this is his hat and this is the hat my son was wearing and he swapped it so I took pictures really quick. But this just became the most adorable photo I've ever seen. I mean, I have it printed in black and white but it, it just looks like, that, like a, a photo from the 60s or something, you know, just the way he kind of looks and... Um, so I've never scrapbooked these and I do have two of the same photo. I'm not sure what size. I'll probably use the 5 by 7 I haven't really decided. I won't use both of them on the layout. So it will just be a two photo layout. Might be just a single page this time around. Um, probably with just the two photos. But I, the other reason I thought, okay, I, that'll be perfect because I have this collection and this is the new Bella Boulevard Fireworks and Freedom from this year collection and I've been very excited to use this collection. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's all kinds of, I like it because it's not just fireworks and stuff. There's like, you can see there's this really, really pretty, um, floral and I actually used to have by the way this happened on 4th of July so I mean obviously the hat just in case you don't know that's why um, so I have some photos that I know will go perfect with those and just the colors in here are just really pretty and great and so I've been excited to use this collection so when I saw that I t didn't take me another second to wait and figure out what else so I'm gonna go ahead and scrapbook these two photos and I hope you like the video all right let's get started okay so I'm going to be following this sketch here that is by page maps from their May 2019 I believe it said um, and I'm just hanging that sketch up I have a little like binder clip and a little oh, what do you call those little sticky things that you can hang a hook from the wall with um, oh, I can't remember the name of those but I'm not gonna worry about it right now I decided to go with the 5x7 photo but I cropped it down and I've actually cropped both of these photos down so they're 4x5 inches instead of 4x6 inches just because there seemed to be extra space I didn't want to do 4x4 um, partly because of the sketch I was following and just partly because I didn't want to. So I just cropped them down a little bit to get rid of some of the backspace and it's kind of a unique size anyway. I'm going through the papers right now and I'm trying to decide which ones I want to use. I love so many of these papers that it's kind of hard to decide but I will tell you I am in love with this layout, the way it comes out in the very end and I was so happy about it because these are some of those photos you know, I believe we all probably have those photos that we're afraid to scrapbook because they're so special to us, but you know, so you don't want to do it wrong or you don't want the layout to turn out bad. And I'm so happy that I did these photos because this layout turned out beautiful. Um, maybe it has to do with the collection. Maybe I just got lucky. I'm not really sure, but I'm so, I'm so happy. I've already got it displayed in my living room. Um, so I can see, I have a little 12 by 12 scrapbook page holder that I change out every once in a while. So, um, that's where it is currently. So the sketch had a smaller piece of paper. So I'm using that firework paper, which is so gorgeous. All these papers are just beautiful and they're a good size, good thickness. So I'm quite happy with those. I'm going to trim this one down. Um, you could see, I just kind of use my fingernail to mark places. Sometimes, sometimes I have to feel around to find out where, where that mark was, but I'm going to trim this one down to kind of go along the right hand side. I follow the sketch fairly closely. Um, I think there was a third paper that they added into 
this um, on top of the, where that striped paper is. They had a third pattern paper there and I did not add that. Instead, I'm gonna put journaling there and um, that worked out just fine. So I had these two photos and I'm going to mount them, but first I want them to have a white frame. Um, I, and I just want a tiny little bit of a white frame and I'm just using my little, again, my perfect layers ruler to line them up straight there. And then I'm just going to use one of the smallest sizes to cut down a very tiny border so that I just want them to stand out a little bit more because I'm going to also make, give them a frame with that red pattern paper. And I felt like they just kind of got a little bit lost without the white on the red pattern paper. So I just trimmed that down and gave them a very tiny white frame. And now I'm just seeing if I like the look of the, or the way they look on this red patterned paper. Um, I am going to ink all my edges with my black close to my heart ink. And when I'm doing the inking for these edges, I'm going for a very subtle inked edge, if that makes any sense. I'm not pushing very hard on the ink blending tool. I'm just giving it a very tiny, just so it's it's there, but it's very subtle. Um, I didn't want to take away from the beauty of any of these layout or these um, pattern papers. So I'm just, again, doing a very light blending. And it's a new foam topper on there. So it, that makes that easier too. I do go a little bit heavier on that stripe pattern paper because you could see, you couldn't see it as well. Um, but other than that, it's there. So I'm going to mount this white piece and I cut down this white piece to be 10 by 10. If you looked at the sketch, it looked like there might be about an inch on each side of this piece of paper. Um, I'm calling it the, I'm just going to call it the white cardstock because in the sketch it looks like it would just be a plain cardstock color. Um, so I cut it down to 10 by 10 and knowing that would leave an inch on every side. And so I'm using my scrappy tape little technique that I use to get it straight. And since I know there will be about one inch on each side, I'm using my T-square ruler here and I lined it up with the edges and the T-square ruler is about an inch thick, so I figured I could just go along with that. And I don't know if it's absolutely perfect. I don't really care. If it's not, then you don't really notice. Um, and then I did also get that paper because it was so beautiful. I could just not, not to get it. So I'm using some washi tape that I have a whole roll of, which I'll probably never use. Um, and I just went ahead. Oh, and look, did I, uh-oh. I'm looking at the page now and I wonder if I just did the whole thing with those fireworks upside down. <laughs> I'm going to have to go look. Oh goodness, I should have known, right? I wonder if I could easily pull it up and not tear it. I'm going to have to go look and find out how obvious it is because you can see those fireworks are upside down and I just now, just now noticed that. Um, I will let you guys know. <laughs> Anyways. Um, the sketch also called for a pattern paper to span the entire layout and I like that. I like that it goes from both sides and not just on the white cardstock. So I cut a thin one of this um, red starred paper, but I didn't like how thin it was. It was just a little too thin for me. So without even measuring, I just glued or I just cut another size here and I'm going with the bigger size. And again, I'm going to use my T-square ruler. And yes, look at that. I'm gluing everything down with those. So pay attention to your pattern paper. I guess that's a lesson for today. <laughs> um, they also had a little border. Their border on the sketch goes along the top of where this starred pattern paper is. Theirs goes along the top of that, and I didn't want it to be so top heavy, so I added this border to the bottom. And I, what I like about this border is because it really goes with the stripes in the hat that my grandpa has on. Um, I felt like that kind of brought that aspect in and also that dark blue part of it really divides the white starred paper from those stripes. So it looked really good. Um, I'm not sure I might just leave it with the fireworks. I'm going to go have to I'm going to have to go look at it and just decide later whether or not I want to chance turning it around. Luckily, I do have, I think, another one of those papers. So if I did, then um, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But I'm going to think about that. So one thing I knew when I was putting my die cuts all on a cardstock piece is that I wanted to use this truck. It's not something normally I would use is a truck, but I really wanted to use this one. It's just got a bunch of stars in the background, and, or I mean in the back of the truck. And um, 
my son is actually sitting in the back of my grandpa's truck at this point in time or my husband's truck. I can't remember. It was 2008. So it was a long time ago, but that is why I put the truck there. I just knew I wanted to get that one on there. And I thought about combining all these stars on the left hand side. If you look at the sketch again, and I will learn, I will, I will have to work on and research how to put the sketch up a in the corner of the videos when I'm doing my layouts. Um, I'm still learning how to do all these videos, so a little bit at a time. Um, I still don't know how to add music, <laughs> but I'm not worried about the music at all. Um, but they had a cluster. It was kind of a flower cluster with some vines and leaves over here on the left of the photos. So I thought maybe these stars would look really good. And then there was also this title, and I really liked this title. It says 4th of July, and I, you're going to see me move these from here to there and there to here. Um, I tried them over here. I tried them above the photos. I tried them, I'm, or at least I'm going to try them by the truck. I'm going to try them everywhere. And then I'm going to realize that I really, I don't know if I... I these pictures were taken on the 4th of July and all these papers are from the 4th of July and all the ephemera, everything. However, the story is not really, I don't want the story to be mostly about the 4th of July. Um, so, which you will see when the title comes to that and everything. So I decided not to add that 4th of July on there. Um, I did change the stars and I put some of these firework pieces in a cluster here on the left instead and I raised them up just a little bit further up on that white starred pattern paper. Um, you see I'm trying these letters up here again because um, this is where they have the title I believe on their sketch. So I really like the truck there and I like the flame or the burst of fireworks coming out from behind the truck and I really like the way the cluster is going on the left hand side and I'm going to use some of these totally awesome I love these if these were the only letter stickers I ever had for the rest of my life I would be totally happy with that <laughs> but I'm going to use those and my title's just going to be forever because like I mentioned these are some of those photos that I will just forever remember and they're so special and I just that one of my son is probably one of my absolute favorite photos in the world. Um, I think I mentioned at the beginning of this video when I was showing you the pictures I was going to use. Um, he, I have it printed in black and white and hanging it on my living room. Have it hanging on my living room wall, and it it just looks so cute. Um, so to actually get these scrapped was not. I, it, it wasn't about the 4th of July. It was about how much I love these photos in this moment. And I'm really glad that my son had some time to get to know my grandpa. My youngest, unfortunately, had a little bit of time, but he was so young when my grandpa passed away that he really, I don't think he'll remember him too much. Um, so yeah, that's just what my title's gonna be is forever because these pictures I will forever remember and I will forever remember this moment. Um, and I talk about that a little bit in my journaling. I focus my journaling on these pictures and um, I don't do the journaling on camera like I usual, usually don't, but I do um, have it in the still photos in the end. So now I'm just gluing down all the pieces that I have. Some of those are acrylic pieces. So I have a couple of blue stars in the bottom right hand corner and this red star is acrylic. For the acrylics, because they are just the tiniest bit see-through, I am using my glossy accents. Um, that seems to work pretty well with acrylic and um, it also helps if you use the right amount you can kind of squish it push it down and squish it to the edges but it doesn't show up too much if that makes sense so um, glossy accents is a really good thing to use for acrylic and now I'm this is pretty much the way the layout is going to look I am just adding a few more things around I added that gray heart up in the top I wanted a little bit more of a cluster near the title but I didn't want to go crazy um, so I'm just adding a few things up there. I was also looking for something red to go up there because I have red in the left cluster and that bright red truck. So I was trying to bring the red up there. So I just tucked that little star behind the stripe pattern paper. And then I decided to pop up that heart, that gray heart with some foam tape. And then I also have this little arrow piece here, which is going right above the truck and that's gray. So now there's gray. Well, there will be gray <laughs> in each little area. Um, I am trying to 
I have a little bit of trouble trying to add some of these words around because a lot of them are really focused on the 4th of July. And I, like I mentioned, I didn't really want to focus on that aspect, even though, you know, this is my July video. This was taken in July, so I'm counting this. Um, but I'm just playing around. There is where I add the gray, that gray heart. I'm going to add some foam tape behind this little gray heart, and I'm going to add it to the middle of that firework piece, and I just really like it. Um, I think it looks really cute right there. I was a little bit back and forth. I didn't know if I wanted to cover up any of that firework, but I thought it, it ended up being really cute. So there was this saying down in the bottom right hand side that says an American cutie and I thought that was pretty cute for that picture because he is pretty stinking cute in that picture. So I really wanted to use that but I didn't want just a word down in the bottom right hand side so I'm trying to look for some. So I found the one that said made in the USA and I thought that that was pretty cute and so I used the red one that says family over here in this cluster on the left and um, also the one that says made in the USA so I used that one on the left and I am going to ink the edges of those just a tiny bit. I haven't glued any of those down yet but that is where they're going to stay. And now I wanted to add something in this little white space area behind the truck. It was just too white right there and I knew that I wanted that American Cutie sticker there. So I found this striped heart which was perfect because it kind of brought all the colors down there because I've already have blue and I already have red and I already have the gray. So that heart just kind of didn't really bring out one certain color in that cluster which would make it harder for me to have the clusters flow a little easier. So now here I am, it's where I'm inking all the edges and this has a little banner edge to it but I'm just tucking it behind the photo so you can't even see the banner edge. And that is pretty much, I'm going to look around a little bit more. There was this um, little banner piece of ephemera that has the word love on it but I couldn't find a place for it. I tried, I thought about maybe on the red truck, but I kind of wanted to use it because, you know, I love these photos and family and love and all that stuff, but it just wasn't working for me. I didn't want to put it up near the title because I didn't want it to say love forever or forever love. So I just left that one off and there are no extra words that go in the top corner. But there was this little light blue sticker that did say 4th of July. So I decided to add that to the bottom right cluster and that kind of just added another word in there. And that got the date on there and since that said 4th of July I knew I was going to need the year somewhere so what I'm doing now is taking those same thickers and I'm adding the year 2008 to my left hand cluster on the left. Um, now however I have some of those foam thickers on the top in the top cluster some on the left in the left cluster so I felt like I really needed some in the on the bottom right hand cluster but there was no like hearts or stars that's the only thing I could have asked for with that with those alphabet stickers so what I did was I went through all my white foam thickers or stickers and I found these these have like these really wonky shaped weird I don't know what they are asterisks or stars but I thought that's kind of cool because it kind of mimics you know fireworks because those are so unpredictable what they're going to look like so I added up one of those little pieces into each section and I loved it that really helped bring the whole thicker the white foam around so the last thing that I'm going to do here that really helps to add a little bit to this layout that I absolutely love is I'm using these jewels that I have purchased from Pretty Pink Posh and I love their jewels. They're, they don't look fake like a lot of jewels do and I'm just going to add a red one and a white one and a blue one in each cluster and it just gives it that little bit of sparkle. I do add a little bit of Wink Estella to something in each cluster. So some of the stars you can kind of see the glitter there. You can see those um, Pretty Pink Posh jewels there and again like I mentioned this is a great layout. I couldn't be happier with how this layout turned out even knowing that it was upside down. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video and this layout and I will see you guys next month. Don't forget to check out the other videos.